The two original connector specifications for USB were A and B. Don't you love it when engineers name things? With both male and female connector types for each. Female A receptacles were intended for host devices like computers, the ones that control the transfer of data over the USB connection, while female B receptacles were intended for upstream peripheral devices, printers, scanners, CD burners, and the like. Most cables feature a male A connector and a male B connector of some sort, because with the exception of on-the-go capable devices, there's no reason to connect two hosts to each other or two peripherals. Now, back to the original standards. I don't want to hate on them or anything. They did propel the universal serial bus to damn near ubiquity in the computing world, but they had some fairly significant limitations. They were large, bulky, and fragile, rated at a mere 1,500 insertion cycles. They were only designed to deliver a little bit of power. The speeds at which they operated quickly became a bottleneck. And finally, particularly irritating on the A connector, they only went in one way without any clear visual indication of which way was right, leading to awesome computer nerd jokes like, how many tries does it take to get a plug into a USB connection? Four, twice to get it wrong, wants to think you got it wrong, and one more time to put the damn thing in so that you can hear that ever so satisfying doo-doo. Now, many of these issues have been improved over the years. Almost right away, USB 2.0 dramatically improved speeds without requiring new physical connectors or cables. Mini and micro versions of the B connector were developed to be more durable and more suitable for devices that fit in your pocket, and more recently, the backwards compatible USB 3.0 standard brought about new A, B, and micro B connectors that add physical pins to dramatically improve speed and power delivery again, to keep USB competitive with newer standards like eSATA and Thunderbolt. And that's where we're at today, but can USB be even better? Apple sure thought so, and introduced their proprietary lightning connector, which is smaller, rugged enough for me to sleep with my phone under my pillow without worrying about breaking it, and reversible, but unfortunately still limited to USB 2.0 speeds. So there's still room for improvement, and here it is. The future is now. The USB Type-C connector has been finalized, and if it delivers what it's promising, it's gonna basically kick all those other connectors to the curb with a completely redesigned connector designed to deliver up to double the data of USB 3.0, 10 gigabit per second, up to 100 watts of power, so you could conceivably power a monitor or charge your laptop off of it. R really? You can't go four seconds without reusing a joke? Anyway, back on topic. It has a slim design with a 10,000 cycle durability rating, so you can use the same cables across all your different devices and not worry about breaking them. And finally, it has a reversible connector, so you never have to play Guess the Orientation again. Speaking of orientation, today's episode of How Not to Shave is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Never shave with the razor blade grasped firmly in your hand and the handle up your nose. Never shave while firmly grasping the razor and scraping the blade with the force of a thousand suns against your man witch. And never ever shave while not actually being able to reach the razor you want to use through the ogre-proof locking storage system you find in most grocery stores. Dollar Shave Club can help with all of this for just a few few dollars a month, you can get high quality razors delivered straight to your door once per month. And even better than that, they do other bathroom supplies too. One Wipe Charlies are their peppermint scented butt wipes for men and are now available in these convenient one-time use packages. I mean, of course you would only use a butt wipe one time. I mean, the point is that there's one inside the package. And uh, <clears throat> Dr. Carver's shave butter goes on clear so you can see what you're doing no matter what it is you happen to be shaving. Check it out now, guys, and join the club at dollarshaveclub.com slash Linus to start shaving time and shaving money. And I've heard a lot of people complain about that joke. That's not my joke, that's their joke. Shave time, shave money, Dollar Shave Club. I just say it because they give me money. Speaking of giving me money, no. No, this doesn't give me any money at all, but it definitely helps me feel good about myself. Guys, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment suggesting future episodes you'd love to see as fast as possible. And as always, thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.